Oh. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco Delia and since I made this video in Italian, I wanted to make it in English too to reach all my viewers because this video is important to me and for my personal development. I want to talk about my 2021, my goals, my goals for 2022, how this year went and all the things that I learned and maybe you can use to improve yourself as well. Because like every single year in the end of my um, of the year, I try to make a review, a recap of what I learned and many goals that I achieved that I put myself in the beginning of the year and then I'll set the goals for next year. Let me tell you real quick, this was a weird year. This was very weird, it was strange because uh, I improved a lot mentally, physically and also spiritually. I improved a lot inside on my inner world but on the outside I learned I didn't improve that much. Like, not so many things happened on the outside, like concrete, real um, improvements in terms of money, in terms of career, in terms of external success. But in terms of inner world, I improved a lot. So I'm going to tell you first all the things that I learned and then the goals and see if I achieve the goals. So guys, a lot of things happen. I have a huge list of all the things that happened. I learned about visualizations. I learned about the power of networking. I learned how to travel for less and decided to move as soon as possible. I created a plan for my voice to get rid of phlegm and reflux because I had reflux and in the beginning of the year, I went to a uh, a doctor to check it out and check everything. I had a lot of medical check uh, checks during this year. I never had medical checks before, not many, and this year I wanted to, you know, uh, give it a ride and see what happens. Also, I had COVID. Uh, I learned financial literacy. I bettered my voice, so I improved my diction, my speech in English and also in Italian. Every single day I worked on it. I had a first aid course. Yes, I don't know why. I, it, it, in my head, it looks like a lot of time ago, I didn't even think it was during this year. I improved my fighting skills. I had MMA, mixed martial arts, until uh, summer, and then I switched to Krav Maga, Krav Maga. So now I'm doing Krav Maga, which is like professional self-defense. I did my first inner engineering course by Sadhguru, so it's a yoga course. I learned about real yoga, so real deep yoga. And I think that this year started my true spiritual journey like last years i did the wim hof method which i still do i did the cold showers i did the i read the, the secret for a law of attraction and many other things but the actual yoga and meditation and do kriya yoga and meditate for a reason and being more spiritual started this year so i stayed a lot at home this year i didn't travel that much maybe also because of covid but i think it's it's normal like everyone in their lives for improvements they have like this and i think right now i'm in the lowest part but i still use this time exploiting it to better myself a lot i hope that next year maybe it will be a bit more practical in terms of my successes i had a new social media strategy because i went to a digital marketing event and they made me realize that yes i have to focus more on one thing so right now i'm still trying to see uh if it's italian the language that i want to focus on because i learned I focused on Italian during this year mostly and on beauty care. Right now I'm seeing if it's necessary to create another channel or something for my social media. Let's see how I can do if I want to make it a job or if I want to make it a hobby and just document my life. Let's see. I'm much, much, much more conscious about myself. I got rid of useless routines and unwear boundaries and started focusing on what I enjoy. I learned about gemstones. <laughs> that's it I love gemstones and I did Isha Kriya yoga so I did my first yoga Upa yoga and Isha Kriya for 90 days like a whole mandala uh, and it helped me a lot I learned also about vegetarianism because uh, I never ate vegetables for my entire life and during this year this was a huge step for me I always was terrified about vegetables and this year thanks to yoga and this spiritual inner growth I managed to go to a nutritionist and start eating vegetables. 
and I'm really happy about it. I think that I'm gonna see the improvements in my body and everything uh, years after years after this huge change in what I eat. I also decided about my hair and beard and tried, and tried beard growth. I tried to grow my beard in the beginning of the year and now I know exactly what to do. And also the I definitely found my skincare routine. So I reworked on my skincare routine and on my beard and hair routine. So now all the products, I know exactly what to buy, when to use them, etc. And I also got some crazy cool uh, beauty care stuff that I always wanted to have. And now my skincare routine and my beauty care routine in general is complete. I resolved some medical problems I had. I went to the nutritionist, as I told you, start eating fruits and vegetables for the first time, start did a more natural diet. I did also some modeling jobs. So I had a modeling job in a five-star hotel in the beginning of the year. I did a photo stock uh, modeling job and then another one. Mostly were influencer kind of collaborations. So this year I worked more from home. And I also start um, a part-time job. I got better at speaking, speaking in front of a camera, speaking in front of people. I finished the book Midnights with the Mystic, which was a yoga book. I started investing in cryptocurrencies and I started the whole financial literacy. Like I always wanted to start investing and this year I finally definitely started investing. So I both um, started investing in ETFs and in cryptocurrency. So now I have a long-term growth plan for my 20, 30, 40 year uh, long term and then I also have cryptocurrency which is something I uh, actually know every day more and more about NFTs etc. I tried also dopamine detox so I tried to put limits on distractions and social media and all these toxic comparisons that you made that I made to uh, make with other people. I went to Mallorca uh, as a vacation. I went also to Lisbon I also read a book called Taste of Well-Being by Sadhguru about how to eat well. I also find, uh, finished my first year of uh, school theater, so theater, and it was cool. And I had some yoga products like this um, Rudraksha. I had this, uh, this sutra here and also the, co the copper ring here, the snake copper ring, and also the water bottle in copper, many other things, the, the, the book of Sadhguru, Eternal Echoes, many other things, and also the Muse has headband for meditation, Lumen for um, metabolism, Wujer for the music, some other things like natural Shilajit and Black Magic, we were, which were elixir for my skin and everything, the Wim Hof t-shirt, Chisel 3.0, many other things. I also got myself a new iPad, so the new iPad Pro, this one and I sold my Insta360. I got myself the, which is this one, I got myself the new iPhone 13 Pro, which I update every single year. And I also got myself this Apple Watch, the Series 7. I started focusing more on Italy instead of, uh, because a lot of things happened this year for Italy. Maneskin, we won Eurovision, we won the championships of football, we won many things. And I think that Italy, I always had a bad, um, idea about Italy, like I always had a bad opinion about it, but now I'm getting, I think that it's going to become better and better. And this year we actually became for the first time very international. So I think it will be more and more international. Opportunities here are not many still, but I think in the future it will be better, Europe in general. So not just America. For example, even like what happened with Squid Game, it's not just America now, it's the whole world that creates uh, these kind of huge global movements. I, minim I minimized my routine for efficiency. I did also the inner engineering completion course, uh, being initiated into Shambhavi Mahamudra Kriya, which is the yoga initiation by Sadhguru. So I did 48 days of mandala of Shambhavi, every day, twice per day, this Shambhavi meditation. I also had 10 days at home alone, because I still live with my parents and they are always here. And I had for the first time 10 days of just being at home. It's just something for myself and it's, I don't know, it's something big for me. I started posting more in Italian. I had a vintage event in Padua. I had my first time earring. And then I did my second one a couple of days ago, one week ago actually. 
I started Krav Maga, as I told you, and I had my verification on Facebook. So now I'm Facebook verified, but still not on other social media. I don't know why. I had a beauty care event in Milan in which I was invited and I met other influencers. I started working out more with Fitness Plus. So it's the new Apple service. So staying at home and working out with different kinds of things, trying Pilates, trying yoga and many other things, strength at home, and also using Lumen, the device to check your metabolism every single day to see what to eat. I had also my new beauty pillow. So now my uh, I have my uh, all the things that you could have for beauty care. I have them also this heavy blanket, many other things. I had my dad's 70th birthday and each month I had a full moon satsang with Sadhguru. So uh, every full moon, each full moon, uh, I had to go there at night, staying in the presence of the full moon and do this meditation and listen to Sadhguru for a couple of hours. Uh, to learn something new. I finished the book Daring Greatly. I started using makeup, so discovering this new side of myself, also thanks to Maneskin. I always tried uh, during my life to please everyone, to be ple to, to like be liked by everyone. And now I'm getting more of being, like my character, my personality is getting out, even my feminine part and also accepting myself a lot more and who I am. So I prefer now to be liked by 50% of the people, but 100% instead of like being liked 50% by 100% of the people. And many other things are getting, like the, the earring is the consequence of this. So you're gonna see a lot of things. I started learning guitar and I better my, uh, my singing with a couple of courses, musician and also the uh, 30 day singer course, which I'm still doing. I also had some other yoga events like the non, not for the faint hearted yoga event, the Anandalai, and now we have another one, uh, the Linga Bhairavi Devi Sadhana event. I received also some uh, fitness gear like the Magic 5 goggles for swimming and also the penny skateboard. I went to the movie land for Halloween and I also in that same period I went to the Thermi because it was uh, Terme because it was here um, celebration period and they gave me also a racetrack drive with the Lamborghini it was amazing my favorite car my dream car and I also received a, a bonsai so bonsai a little tree my first plant my first uh, own plant so I learned also how to garden a little bit and how to cure the plant and how to take care of it I learned also about Diwali the light festival in India and in Asia I got myself the Will Smith book and also I started watching the Best Shape of My Life series about him, it was incredible. And I went to London for the Macmillan Ball event for, my, for some projects and to meet some business people. And it was the actual uh, only travel that I did for business this year, I didn't travel much. And that's it guys, so a lot of things happened, but you know, I feel like I'm in a karmic cycle. I feel like doing these habits, cause I did every single day, my routine constantly, and being constant and being consistent. And I learned a lot and I improved my a lot inside, but I think that I'm still keep going in cycles, in circle, which is good, it's safe, but I want to start, you know, removing the chain and start going forward with my life. So I, I think that I need something new. I think that I need to just kick myself out of, out of this comfort zone, out of the autopilot zone, and just start doing something different. Because if I, keep, if I keep doing the same things, I cannot expect different results. So I think that now I have to jump and start going more on my career. I have to jump and start networking and traveling and trying to find ways to earn more money. So, and also being a little bit more consistent with the way that I create content to make money and uh, to make it a business, to make it a, an income for myself so that I can achieve my dreams and doing many things. It's not just about the money, it's about the freedom. I just want to become free. I just want to be free and help as many people as possible. And I want to decide if social media, all right, is just a documenting or if I can make it um, a business so that I can achieve also other goals. So that's it, guys. What about the goals? Ah, let me tell you, I had goals, but I didn't achieve basically any of them. 
uh, I don't know why, maybe because of the cycles that I keep going on, maybe because of the COVID, maybe I wasn't motivated, maybe as I told you, all the growth is like this and maybe I'm here, but I think next time it will be better. I think that I grew so much and, if, and even if it's something inside, I feel like my fundamentals, my structure, my platform is now much readier for success, for peace, for love, for anything, for happiness. Being like a rock, I feel like a rock now. Everything could happen and I would just still be good, uh, be fine. So I think that now, this year, maybe it was a little slower and a little bit more boring, but I feel now uh, that my potential got a lot higher. I wanted to save at least some amount of money, which I didn't, because I also started investing, so a lot of the money is not in my bank anymore, it's invested. I started making, I would, I wanted to start making money from a business, which I'm not doing yet. I wanted to become better at singing, dancing, martial arts, speech and acting, which I actually did a bit. Uh, I, I wanted to read at least one book per month, which I didn't. Uh, I read uh, four or five books. I have to make it a priority. Reading is so important. And I learn a lot while reading, but I never found find the time because I don't make it as a priority. I have to make it a priority. Right now I'm doing it, right now I'm reading during this last week, but I definitely have to give it more importance. Every time that I read, I feel like I'm going a lot forward with my path. So I wanted to lower my body fat percentage and better my health body, which I kind of did. Uh, I wanted to take part in a movie, TV series, commercial, which I didn't. I did some modeling jobs, but actually my artsy career wasn't so good this year. Uh, I wanted to make at least one singing video. I didn't. I, I, I still don't feel ready for it, but I did a couple of guitar videos. I wanted to finish my Teeth and Acne Scars Cure, which I almost finished. I wanted to start traveling again. I did three uh, travel. I did three trips which were good, yes, but I wanted to travel more because I wanted also to move away for some time from home, which I still didn't. I have plans for next year and I just want to start moving out. 25, even for yoga, is the beginning of adulthood or early adulthood. So you start exploring the potential that you've been growing for your entire childhood until 24. I wanted to keep going with my daily self-development routine, which I did. I wanted to get, new, to get new media coverage in PR, uh, which I didn't, but I got myself my verification on Facebook, which is good. I wanted to grow on social media, which I didn't much in terms of numbers, but I don't know, social media is very weird during this year. Uh, I have to try new things and maybe just focus on less things or maybe doing them better. I also wanted to now try to hire for some videos are an editor and make my videos a little better, a little, you know, more easy to watch. I wanted to make at least a collaboration with a big influencer, which I didn't. I wanted to organize at least one course or public speech, which I didn't. I wanted to start waking up earlier and dress more formal, which I didn't. But I'm getting better quality clothes for Christmas because my clothes are always the same. I've been wearing the same things for four or five years, always the same total black outfit. So now uh, for Christmas, my uh, relatives are gonna give me some money to buy new clothes and I'm gonna buy real quality um, clothes this time, but maybe more formal, but still total black and basics. I really like essentials. I don't like go buying clothes that much. And I wanted to stay more positive, love, health, gratitude, strength, risk, happiness, giving. So these things, I think these are the main point that I grew on this year on. So that's it guys. I think that for 2022, the goals will stay the same. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a pity. Not so much on the outside, but on the inside guys, trust me, I grew so much. So I hope that next time, next year, it will be um, less boring and more active year this year it was a little bit more passive like staying at home and preparing for war i think that from from next year i'm going to start going and just fighting instead of just staying in the castle and preparing my swords and preparing my armor now i'm ready to go into the fight into the battle so that's it guys hope you enjoyed let me know what is your main uh, purpose your main goal for next year and thanks for watching me for during this year and guys 
I love you. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, have a good year, and Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.